हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू सौरव सर्स क्लासेस द क्वेश्चन इज कंसिडर एन इक्विलैटरल ट्राइंगल ए बी सी विथ ऑल्टीट्यूड थ्री सेंटीमीटर्स अ सर्कल इज इंस्क्राइब इन दिस ट्राइंगल देन अनादर सर्कल इज रॉन सच दैट इट इज टैंज इन टू द इंस्क्राइब सर्कल एंड द साइड्स ए बी ए सी इनफाइनाइटली मैनी सर्च सर्कल्स आर ड्रॉन ईच टैंज इन टू द प्रीवियस सर्कल एंड द साइड्स ए बी ए सी The figure shows the construction after two steps. Then find the sum of all the areas of all these circles. Now, the radius of the first inscribed circle is actually one. Now it's not hard to see that as you go on inscribing the circles, the corresponding radii. So the corresponding radii decrease by one by three. Now let A denote the total area of the circles. So the total area would be pi into one square plus pi into one by three square plus pi into one by nine square, and so on. So this becomes an infinite GP. Now you can write this as. Pi plus pi into one by three square whole into one plus one by three square plus one by nine square and so on. And on solving this, we get pi plus one by nine into a. So since a is equal to pi plus one by nine into a, so we get eight by nine a is equal to pi, or a is equal to nine pi by eight. The next question is: Consider the following function defined for all real numbers x, that is, f x is equal to two thousand eighteen. By 10 plus e to the power x, then how many integers are there in the range of f? Now, since e to the power x is an increasing function, therefore this function f x would be a decreasing function, since e to the power x is in the denominator. Now, as x goes far left, the denominator approaches 10. And the function value approaches 201.8. On the other hand, as x goes far right, the denominator blows up, and the function value approaches zero. Now, since this is a continuous function, so by the intermediate, value theorem, all values will lie in the interval. Zero to two hundred one point eight. Therefore, we can say that there are two hundred one integers that are in the range of f. The next question is: List every solution of the following equation. You need not simplify your answer. That is, cube root of x plus four minus cube root of x is equal to one. Now take t is equal to cube root of x, so we get t cube plus four is equal to one plus t whole cube. Now on simplifying this, we'll get the quadratic equation to be t square plus t minus one, which is equal to zero. Now, on solving this, we'll get the answer as minus two plus minus root over five. So this is the required answer.